Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you are someone who enjoys talking about film, by clicking that subscribe button. We are on day nine of my unofficial, which I think I figured out a way how to get through the series, 13 Nights of Fright. And today we're talking about Psycho. Psycho is rated R. It came out in 1960. It is an hour and 49 minutes long. It is directed by Alfred Hitchcock. Unfortunately, this one's not available to just stream. You do have to rent it. So you are able to rent it on like YouTube and a uh, Prime video. Psycho stars Janet Lee as Marianne Crane, Pat Hitchcock as Caroline, John Gavin as Sam Lumens, and Anthony Perkins as Norman Bates. And Psycho is another one that is in black and white. So you guys, yes, this is indeed another great classic that I have never seen before prior to this. I honestly always had it on my to watch list. I just never seemed to have gotten around to it. But you know what? This series was like the perfect time to get to it. Now for the majority of the film, I do feel that it did age pretty well. There are a few things here and there that I just don't feel work anymore within the, you know, the 2020 era. Quite honestly, the only thing I knew about this movie really was just the iconic shower scene and of course the score that is used i mean it's a brilliant awesome score it was composed by bernard herman like i said earlier i didn't know anything about it so i didn't know that this is actually where bates motel and norman bates you know was born basically is it where he was born i'm assuming this is where he was born i had no idea the overall outcome of that which we'll get to here in a bit i'm gonna go ahead and make this a, to a spoiler no, maybe not. Yes, I probably will make it just, but I don't know, you guys. It may or may I don't know. We'll see. But we are following Marion Crane, who is played by Janet Lee. She ends up stealing $40,000 from her employer so she can take off with her boyfriend. So the first uh, half of the movie is pretty much just her on the run. Like, it's not like a Bonnie and Clyde or anything like that. It's just her by herself. Honestly, Sam, who is the boyfriend, has no idea what she's done. Because there was a terrible storm on her drive, here she is, gets to Bates Motel. We meet Norman Bates, who's a very good looking, pleasant guy who, you know, I honestly didn't really suspect. Like, again, once we get to the bigger deal of it, I honestly didn't even see that coming. Again, I didn't know overall what the movie was about. I just knew the iconic shower scene. But yeah, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know this some spoilers. So while she's there, she ends up being murdered. So it's very interesting that Hitchcock ended up actually killing off his main lead halfway through the movie so that's kind of like pretty brilliant in a way you know because it's just like wait what so we do think that it is norman's mother who ends up doing the murders we'll get to that later there is more towards that norman comes in finds marion just like you know over the shower just dead which honestly that was such a huge huge controversy such a bloody honestly there's not even that much blood that that for her heart to have been stabbed that's much as she was there really wasn't as much blood as you were anticipating even though it was in black and white but there was still nothing there but this scene was like a big like woo and back in that day like now again it, it's just it's not even like we've seen way more, worse you guys to be honest with you but again for its time it was like a ooh, kind of deal apparently hitchcock really wanted uh norman bates to be a very likable character to for us the audience to appeal to him to feel sorry for him with his you know situation with his mom because the mom is very like overbearing now once the lead does get uh, killed off we do get a new one who is uh caroline who is the sister i gotta say though once marion does get killed i feel like the film kind of dropped a little bit for me i just didn't find it to be as entertaining as the first part was it i feel like the first part kind of had a little bit more of a build-up and more of a ooh, what's gonna happen now for some fun facts alfred hitchcock actually fought to make this movie and he actually paid for a lot of it out of pocket he actually ended up taking a pay cut so he can afford to do the movie which of course had a huge huge payoff this is also the last time that hitchcock got nominated for a oscar um he actually never won an oscar for best director this is the first american film that incorporated a toilet scene apparently that's something that had never been done because again controversy and it's also the first one that we heard a toilet being flushed and the r rating that it now has actually 
It didn't end up getting until about half a century after it was released in 1984, given that the rating system didn't come into place until 1968. Perfect timing for me to have reviewed this movie because this year is actually the 60th anniversary for Cycle to have been released. I mean, I don't know exactly what, let me look one month that actually was released. Back in September is when it officially turned 60, so we're pretty still close within that anniversary deal, so I'm gonna incorporate it within the 60th anniversary. Before I get to my actual rating, the very end of the movie, like, well, I guess maybe like the second to last scene, was it? Yeah, with the psychiatrist. Oh my God, if that man wouldn't shut up. That's probably my least favorite scene, just because he does linger way too much into the explanation that Norman Bates actually has a split personality. So the mother actually was dead. She she died. Well, Norman actually killed the mom. He ended up manifesting his mother's personality and. She's technically the killer, not really Norman, because Norman always kind of comes out of it and is like, Mother, what did you do? Also when, oh my God, I just thought about it. When that, that's, a, that's one of the scenes that doesn't really like flow within this time anymore when uh, the mom or Norman kills Marion and he's all like, Oh God, Mother, blood, blood. Also like, how the hell you hear people all the way up in that house? I mean, I know it's not like, far far but like it's like far when the hotel can hear the conversations that are happening over there I'm just like well I you probably would hear me too though because I have I don't have enough fucking indoor voice but yeah that end scene it just kind of like lingered that explanation lingered way too long but I understand back in the late 50s and 60s where you know back in just that general like era time of course people weren't familiar weren't knowledgeable weren't educated like they are now i get the explanation i get it doesn't mean i like it but i get it because that is again something that was necessary for its time but unfortunately that's a part that just didn't age well within the movie because again during these times 2020 it's very well known i mean some people still aren't really educated but i feel like it's a little bit not you don't need as much explanation even as a much explanation as i'm giving you right now within my video so let's go ahead and, and and move on um to my ratings i'm gonna go ahead and rate it um honestly it's a great freaking movie to be honest with you it's another one that i'm like super ashamed that i have not seen before and i just could just kick myself in the butt but again i guess it's a special place now that i could say well i saw it within the 60th anniversary so of course i'm giving psycho a large popcorn if you've seen psycho let me know down below what did you think about it did you know that you hate it was it just not for you um i still haven't seen any of the other cycle movies want to watch american cycle though with christian bell but i just don't have time you guys i i i, I oh this series is literally killing me so i'm gonna actually end up doing the next uh three videos are gonna be three movies um that i did watch within this year so i feel like it still kind of counts it's kind of me cheating but they are also movies that I just saw for the very first time this year and I haven't seen them since and I'm not gonna watch them again so I'm literally gonna be having to do those reviews out of my memory. I'll go ahead and finish up this video so you guys know the deal. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. I'll see you guys tomorrow to talk about 28 Days Later. Bye!